Okay, so today is going to be the last Power of Properties um, video and lesson. So let's talk about rational exponents. Now, if we look at the uh, formula chart for rational exponents, it shows that a to the m over n, the rational exponent means that you have a fractional exponent. And what that means is it means that the denominator is actually the root. So that means the nth power of a. And the numerator is your regular power to the nth power. Now another way that you can think about this, this is exactly how it is on your formula chart. But you can also think about this as still the nth. the nth root of a, but then the whole thing's in parentheses, all of that to the nth power. This is on your formula chart. It is a little bit weird. It doesn't explain it on your formula chart, but at least it's there to remind you. Um, so let's, we're going to do a few different types of examples first. So let's do example one. And here we're just going to simplify. Okay, so for number one of example one, if I have 25 to the one-half power, that's going to equal, our, num our, our regular power is a one, but our, our root is a two, which means it's the square root of 25. Now, that two is understood. You don't have to put the two there. And then the square root of 25 is five, which is your final answer. Now, let's talk about that just a second, because one thing I do want you to remember is that the square root of x, another way we could write that is the second root of x. If it's the square root, it's understood. You do not have to put the 2. Any other number other than 2, you have to put. Uh, so let's go ahead and do another example of, the, of, of this type. So the second one here is going to be 5x to the 1 half power. Now, if it's simplified, we're not going to have a fractional exponent. And remember, you can't have negative exponents if it's, if it's uh, simplified either. Uh, but here, the 5 does not have the 1 half. The half only goes with the x. So we're going to put a 5. And then the 1 half, the, uh, the regular power is 1, but the root is 2. So that's going to be 5, the square root of x. Again, the 1 half does not go with the 5. It only goes with the base x. Let's do another one of these, which will be hopefully help that example make a little bit better sense. So if I have 7w parentheses to the 1 fourth power, now the 1 fourth does go with the 7 as well. So that's going to be the fourth root, because the denominator is 4, the fourth root of 7w. And let's go ahead and do another one of these as well. This will be the last one of these. Number 4 is going to be 125 to the one third power. Again, our regular power is 1, but our, our root is 3. So that makes this the cube root of 125. Um, you may use the calculator to do this. And if you're not sure, uh, ask me and I will show you how to find that on the calculator. But if we do the cube root of 125, which means what number multiplied by itself three times equals 125, that answer is 5. Okay. Now let's look at another aspect of this and I'm going to call this example two and for the instructions with example two let's write uh, with a rational exponent so it's going to start out without a rational exponent then we're going to write it with a rational exponent so write with a rational exponent And we'll call this example A. 
So if I have the square root of 22, and I'm writing this with an, at the rational exponent, there's no external um, exponent here. There's just the root. So the root is 2. That's going to be our denominator. So this is going to equal 22 to the 1 half power. Whoops, there we go. Remember, with a lot of these, you just kind of have to get used to how they look and how they work. Uh, for another example, let's do 2 to the cube root of x. Now, the 2 is just a regular number here. It doesn't have an exponent. It doesn't have a power. That cube goes with the, um, with the root, not with the 2. So it's just going to be 2 by itself. Then x to the, the, the root is 3, so it's going to be x to the 1 third power. Let's do one more of these. So for this one, let's do the fourth root of x cubed. Okay, so it's going to be x. The power, the regular power, is what's going to be the numerator. So it's going to be 3 over the root is your denominator. The root is 4, so x to the 3 fourths power. Okay, and again, if you have any questions about these, let's come and talk about them. Um, let's do another set of examples of just simplifying. So example 3 is going to be simplify. And let's go back to 1. So for 1, let's do... Uh, 64 to the 2 thirds power, which means, and really, I'll show you how to put that straight into the calculator too, but if we're going to write this out first, the root is 3, so we know it's because that's the denominator, so it's the cube root of 64 squared, and then if you put that into your trusty calculator, that's going to turn out to be 16. And then for, let's do one more of these. And this is going to be 36 to the 3 halves power. Which means that this is going to be the square root of 36. And then all of that is going to be cubed. And I'm going to let you figure out that one on your own. Please let me know if you have any questions. And remember, when you're, when you're putting all these together, please just do them one step at a time. Make sure you're either following your order of operations or you're following the properties. And um, let me know if you have any questions.